It's not just the soap from washing your car that goes down the storm water drain. It's also the oil and dirt you wash off, which run directly into our lakes and rivers, harming the fish and polluting our drinking water. Hey, car washing. That detergent you use does a great job removing dirt from your car. But when it runs down your driveway and into the storm drain, it does nasty things to our lakes and rivers. Keep detergents where they belong. Runoff and wash waters that enter a storm drain do not flow to a wastewater treatment plant. Instead, they go to our rivers, streams, lakes, and groundwater. If soapy runoff enters a stream, it can hurt aquatic plants and kill fish. Wash and rinse waters are considered wastewater and should not be sent down a storm drain. As a business, you have a legal obligation to properly handle your wastewater, which should be routed to a sanitary sewer. Hey, Bill, what you doing? Oh, music to my ears. You mean watching car owners wash their vehicles here? Yep, because here the sudsy water goes into a tank and is treated. At home, soapy water that gets to the storm drains goes directly to our rivers and creeks. Yuck. Seriously. Washing your car and degreasing auto parts at home can send detergents and other contaminants through the storm sewer system. Dumping automotive fluids into storm drains has the same result as dumping the materials directly into a body of water. Use a commercial car wash that treats or recycles its wastewater. When you turn on that hose to wash your car, you're not only wasting water, you're killing fish and polluting our water all around Tacoma. Stop! That water is going right down into the storm drain and out to our Puget Sound. Unregulated car washing pollutes our waterways. Turn off the hose, think about what you're going to do, and take your car to a professional car wash right here in Tacoma. Wastewater from professional car washes is filtered and properly disposed of, preventing damage to our environment. Soiled water from professional car washes is piped to water treatment facilities or runs into state-approved drainage facilities designed to protect the environment. Amor, mira todo el agua jabonosa. Esa agua llegará a los arroyos y el mar por el drenaje pluvial. No es antes tratada. No. En las casas, el agua usada de los sinks y sanitarios se va por la tubería a la planta de tratamiento. Pero el agua de las calles entra al drenaje pluvial sin ser tratada. Ay, entonces la basura, jabones, aceites y químicos no deben entrar al drenaje de la calle. Sí. Porque el mar empieza aquí en la calle. Well, drivers are being urged to use commercial car washes to avoid polluting waterways. The Car Wash Association says every time one of our 15 million cars is cleaned, this black toxic waste ends up in creeks, rivers and oceans. Uh, petrochemicals, zinc, copper, any number of things, surfactants. They say car wash businesses use treated waste water to remove the toxins. If stormwater pollution was rubber duckies, it wouldn't matter what went down our storm drains, but it does, because stormwater pollution is not rubber duckies. It's trash, oil, cigarette butts, and pet waste flowing untreated to our rivers. Remember, drains aren't dumps, because what goes down here ends up here. Vehicle wash water contains petroleum, heavy metals, phosphates, and other pollutants. Washing vehicles on an impervious surface like a driveway or roadway sends these pollutants directly to a storm system which flows untreated to the St. Lucie River. Take your vehicle to a modern car wash facility. There they recycle their wash water or the water is treated before it is discharged into the sanitary sewer or storm systems. So be river smart and please wash your vehicles responsibly.